Uh, this is the generator. Um, this is the control panel for the generator. When you come up to it normally without any alarms, this is what you're going to see. Nothing. You just press the little rewind button, two little arrows. It'll wake up the screen. It gives you a couple different parameters you can look at. You've got an engine, alternator, adjust, and more. If you want to look at the engine, you just press that corresponding button. Coolant is 94 degrees right now. Oil pressure is zero, of course, it's not running. Engine speed is zero. Battery voltage is 13.7. And of course, remember your enunciator is watching right. this voltage as well. Your governor duty cycle. I mean, it tells you a lot more things what you really need to, need to know. Uh, alternator, it'll tell you your line to line voltage, line to neutral voltage. It'll actually tell you um, your amperage, frequency, your total power per. If you're under a, uh, under a load in an outage, it'll actually tell you what KW you're actually pulling out of the building. Um, it'll tell you power factors, it'll tell you way too much information, but those those two are how you get in each parameter, whether it's engine or alternator. Uh, the thing that's probably most crucial for you guys is, is your running hours. I don't know if you're probably going to create like a little log sheet of some kind, uh, just for routine once a week or whatnot. Uh, that's going to be under more. And again, all this is going to be in your manuals once you finally get them. There's like little ladder diagrams you can get to each or whatever you want to get to. You press more. It comes up faults, system, history, and more. You want to hit the history button. And as of right now, it's telling you that it started 24 times since it's the day of conception. And right now, it has 11.1 hours on it. Okay. And you can still scroll down. It'll tell you control hours, which you're not going to need to know. Um, it'll tell you at what, for its life, how long it was built at a certain load. But again, that's something you you don't have to worry about. Just just in that screen, just your hours is what you're going to want. Um, if you come out here, your, your enunciator is screaming at you, you come out and look at it. Say it's low coolant level. I would say it was probably the most common one out there that we have. Um, it's going gonna, it's gonna to scream at you. It's going to say check gen set. You come out here, it'll say, it'll say low coolant level. Uh, and what it is, is just what it is. Low coolant level in the radiator, okay? But as it looks, it'll, sh it'll show you what it looks like. We don't even have any old faults. But it'll tell you what fault it is and what it what it is on here. Okay. And again, once you call it, call us for uh, for a service call, or whatever, we're gonna ask you what it what this says. Okay. You just say, hey, I have low coolant temp or low coolant level. Or you could see an array of different things. There's hundreds and hundreds of faults you can have. But that's that. The uh, the switch right here, it should always be an auto. Okay. If it's not an auto, your enunciator is gonna scream. So what we do is we have to put it all the way in the off position, clear the fault, whether it's here or the engine or whatnot. And this is something that maybe we'll have to do, but if we're talking to you on the phone, you know, and if you're in an outage and we're out, it's, you know, somewhere else in the site, we just we can walk you through this a little bit. Then you can press the fault acknowledgement reset button, it'll reset, you're back to normal, and then you just put it back down. Okay. This is, one, this is a, a nice user-friendly thing because it'll tell you everything that's going yeah, on yeah. if there's ever an issue that's what it's going to be okay okay um this is a 60 kw on the on this side of the engine uh, this is a V10 Ford engine. Okay. Uh, on this side, we have the block heater, which is this down here. This will always keep the engine nice and toasty, summer, winter.